Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to the United Way. My name is Rob Dukan, an honorary United fan just like you. This will be our preview, Man uh, West Ham versus Manchester United. A very vital game, a quite vital game for Manchester United. I mean, we have to start winning games. If we are not winning, if we don't win this game, then um, I still think we have a, a chance to qualify for top four. But we don't have to lose today. We don't need to lose. Sorry, we don't have to lose tomorrow in West Ham in London. Because um, we we lost obviously in a very uh, undeserved manner. Uh, maybe not undeserved is too much at the at the Brighton. But I think Manchester United. We have to. We, we the players know we need to win. We need if we beat West Ham, then uh, we are in a very comfortable position to be in uh, top four, which is what which which I believe we will be. By the way, yeah, guys. Before we continue this um, uh, preview, please make sure you click the like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm inviting all of you on our watch along tomorrow at the game against West Ham, and uh, we still have four more games to the end of the season. Maybe United five. Yeah, that four more games in the league at the end of the season and um we're doing our usual stuff we're doing a giveaway so in this game every time we do our preview we give you guys um you see an empty board there a chance for you to write your lineup predict your lineup if you can predict 10 hacks lineup you'll get one of this so let's um continue the vlog with this anyway united we have been doing not really well because our attackers if you look at the goals our biggest problem united this season has been uh, attacking because our highest goal scorer is 16 goals which is marcus rashford that's in the league and if you see the the guy behind him is uh bruno fernandez i think he's six goals six goals yeah i think yes so you see the difference. That's why United haven't been doing well. Vekos hasn't been scoring. We, I mean, we, we have a huge problem, United. We need to... We lost Ronaldo, Cavani, and we didn't, we didn't bring anybody. We brought Vekos. So that's, you can see the reason why United isn't scoring goals. We don't really have those goal scorer. Anthony also hasn't been scoring that much. Sancho has been a, a shadow of himself. Uh, it's, um, it's, 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 I mean, it's, sometimes it's very clear to see why United is not doing well. It's not magic. That's why I think this takeover is very important. We need new, new ideas, new owners, people who can, who are ready to, to go into new directions and, uh, not only buying players, but having a plan because the Glazers have never had a plan. The only plan the Glazers have had for Manchester United is how to take dividends twice a year, take their $20 million and um, and walk out of Manchester United. But yeah, coming back to our preview, we are playing against a team West Ham, which is very good in the air. Very tall, I mean, quite tall players. They are not a possession-based team. They are actually, will you say, a counter-attacking team. And an aggressive team. They are a team which uh, most of their goals come through set pieces, corner kicks, free kicks. So I hope that rings the bells. You see where I'm going to. So we need to have players which um, live uh, not, uh, uh, let me say, attitudes in terms of, I mean, altitudes, heights, right? Uh, we need to have tall players uh, uh, in the back. And that is why I think our lineup will be a bit shaky. This is it. I want to tell you guys what I think. Let's just go straight to the lineup and tell me, then we'll discuss later. The goalkeeper, we know David De Gea. Hopefully, he didn't have anything serious. I'll go David De Gea on the pole. I mean, it's very easy. In the left, I'll change it. I'll switch something. You guys will be, tell me what you guys think. In the left, we'll do Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw will go to the left. Uh, in the uh, Unfortunately, our central back should be... Um, our central back should be... Magway and um, Lindelof. The reason why I'm bringing back Magway is that height, which I just complained earlier. On our right, I don't want Basaka. I will go Basaka because I want Basaka to close up, uh, should close up um, with Anthony. If you know Anthony, the attacker of West Ham, he's very, he's quite physical, quick, and we need a very hard, we need a, a tough player to blow, to, to, to really, uh, to, 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 to neutralize his uh, attack. Then our two holding midfielders, I will go, I will bring in, I will bring in, because we have, uh, we have uh, Maguire in the defense, I will bring in Ericsson. He will play with Casemiro because we need to keep the game, keep the ball. If we can hold on to the ball, we will win. We, we, we will have a chance to score. Winning, I'm not sure, but we will have a chance to score. So because last, we, we really lacked um, 
we I understand what he was doing in the Brighton game, but we lack the, the the absence of creativity. The biggest mistake we should do in this game at the first half is to start with Fred because Fred, he's energetic but he's useless. He's not very good. He's not a progressive player. He's he cannot just give a pass. Let me just keep it clear. Uh, the season is getting to an end, and you guys know the quality of our players. So in front of them, I'll be Bruno Fernandez. Very logically, we'll put Antoni, the Brazilian, on the right. And um, I will not start with Marsha. If Marsha starts this game, we will be we will be like minus one person, honestly. I will not start with Marsha. I will start with Vekos. I know most of our fan base, especially the African fan base, uh, you guys not in league because of African base, because you guys, you look at football differently. You know, they are fans and fans. Some of you, on the, you just play just because they score a goal. Vekos should be in the attack. He should do the running. He should he should put more energy on the attack. Vekos, I don't expect him to score, but I expect him to, to mount pressure on the first half. The, uh, then on the left, Marcus Rashford being the left. Rashford in such a physical defense will be useless. Marcus Rashford is not really that strong, so it is difficult for me. I think bringing in Rashford, uh, playing as a nine against West Ham, which are very solid it, and. It, it, it will be a problem. I think he should play in the wing where he's free to, to, to make some runs and he is more effective at that section. Tell me what you guys think be, uh, below. Do you think that's true? What do you think? What do you think? I mean, drop your comments. I really want to get you on. You don't forget, if we lose this game again, that's with love six points and then that's where the pressure start coming on, on, on not qualifying for top four, even though I think we will because uh, our future... For now, we are talking about the future depending on us, right? On us winning games. So, hopefully, we'll do that. Hopefully, at least we don't lose the game. It's very important. Go. <gasps> Sorry, guys. I just got up from bed. Anyway, that's what I. That's my lineup, and I would like to hear your lineup. The thing is that we're playing against a West Ham team, which is not, uh, as I said, a footballing team. They're playing at home and uh, that ring the bell because United are not doing well. I think the only team in the top 10 that we have had a, a draw, I think two teams in the top 10 that we drew in this league this year has been Spurs and um, obviously yeah, Chelsea. So I think Manchester United is going to have a very tough day, tough time. But the reason why I am I'm slightly positive because we have better players, players who can change the game if we are a bit calm. If we if it's on our day, we'll beat we will beat um, uh, West Ham easily, easily two nil, three one, two nil, and uh, it will be easy. But but with um, the present uh, situation in which we see Manchester United players, um, uh, you know, winning brings confidence, which means uh, the fact that we lost that game, which I think by the way, the first time against Brighton, we were better, the better side. Hmm. Clearly, they came into the second half and they were doing well. I think the fact that we are losing, we lost that game. It gives us um, some level of negativity and lack of confidence. So that is where I stand with the game. So that's my lineup. I just want to tell you. I know from you guys, guys. Please drop your lineup below. Even if you're not taking part in the game, drop your lineup below. I would love to know who you think is going to start. Am I correct with Magwe? Am I wrong with Magwe? Tell me. But I, the reason I'm bringing in Magwe, as I said from the beginning, is because I think West Ham, they play, they cross, do a lot of crossing. If you see the, the penalty we had live, lastly, I think Magwe will not use his hand because he's tall. He will take it out. Magwe is good at, maybe not heading the ball, but good at deflecting balls at the head, on the head. But, but his minuses are clear. Some of you are saying about my, Magwe isn't slow. Magwe hasn't had games. So he will not really be mass fit. So that is really a problem. I think if Magwe also starts, he has his own flaws because Anthony will go only on him, on speed. They know Everybody knows he's slow. And the system we United is playing, we're playing a system which we have to be confident. So it's a bit difficult for Ten Hag. And I, I listened to Ten Hag's um, uh, post-interview after our loss. He, he, get, he, he, he said something about... Uh, the new owners that I mean for you to win trophies you need to invest you need to have a lot of some money to, to, to build up the team and that's simply him saying that you know we, we need we need we need wealthy owners full stop I don't know how you guys can interpret such a uh, so, such a statement but if if we are not ready to invest then next year will be like this two years to come will be like this United they are setting vital positions where United need to bring the right type of players full stop 
so hopefully uh that's it anyway guys that's my short preview and uh, guys i'm hoping to see you guys make sure you subscribe in the channel firstly click the bell you never know i exist subscribe to the channel i'm waiting to see you guys tomorrow on our watch along and guys as i said we have two of these you can see below the you can see below uh uh what we have so uh if you want to have this we post it to you make sure you actually um yeah you draw your lineup hopefully you'll get it i've never won a nice lineup anyway great short vlog and uh talk to you soon have a nice weekend ciao ciao